how I, I think it's very, very tricky to detect in oneself that we're using spirituality as a bypass for something else. And also it's close brother, spiritual materialism, isn't it? Any tips you have on being able to analyze our own conduct to see if we're falling into any of these traps of the spiritual path? Well, we probably are. I mean, you know, um, unless we are really beings of incredible wisdom and compassion, we're bound to be falling flat on our face as we walk across the path. The important thing is that when we fall down, we pick ourselves up again and we keep walking. So that's it, you know. I mean, we just have to become more and more aware of the traps along the path and, and where we can circumvent them then we do, but sometimes we fall straight down into the pit, but we climb out again. You know, I mean, I, I do think that everybody should recognize that this is a path we're walking and it, it's not, you know, a six lane highway. And we, we are going to come across all sorts of obstructions on the path, but we use those obstructions as the path. And in that way, we develop our, our inner understanding and our inner ability to keep going. That's the most important thing. And to cultivate our awareness and our kindness towards ourselves as much as towards everybody else. You know, I mean, who's, you know, if we think we have none of that and we're never going to be spiritual materialists and we're never going to fall into it, that would be a problem, I think. You know, as long as we are conscious that these dangers are there, we can be a bit careful and we can put us, you know, our, our spotlight on when uh, it gets a bit dark. <laughs>